Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making cheesy meatball tater tot casserole. Okay, I'm starting out here with a 9 by 13 baking pan I sprayed with some cooking spray. And I have a 32 ounce bag of Italian style frozen meatballs. I'm going to dump enough in here to layer the bottom of the pan. And if I use all of them, that's no problem. If not, there'll be leftovers for the kids to make it a later date. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and take them all. Just cram them all down in there. One or two stubborn guys in there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes to give the meatballs a head start on getting cooking. Okay, my meatballs are almost done. They have about three minutes to go. In a medium sized bowl here, I have two 10 and a half ounce cans of cream of chicken soup. And here I have an eight ounce block of sharp cheddar cheese I shredded up. You can use just about any kind of cheese you like. I like cheddar with this. I'm going to put a little under half of it and with the cream of chicken soup and blend it up. Mix it well. And I'm just going to set this aside till the meatballs are done baking. Okay, my half hour is up. I took my meatballs out. Now the cream of chicken soup mixture and the cheese mixture, I'm going to go ahead and spread that right down on top of the meatballs. This is a really quick and easy casserole to throw together on a work night. You know, some nights, guys, I hate to admit, I just don't feel like cooking. But when you have a house full of kids, that's not an option not to unless you want to order takeout. And who can afford to do that every time you don't feel like cooking? So I'm going to go ahead and smear this around. I almost grabbed a hold of that hot pan handle. That's no well carrying on in there. Little French poodle we have. Okay, now I have the chicken soup mixture smeared around. I have some frozen tater tots here. I'm going to go ahead and layer them on top. I like with the meatballs, I don't know if this will take all of them. I don't want to get them on there too thick because they'll never bake right. I'm going to go ahead and layer them all over here. Nice even coating. And if you want to be fancy, you could stand them all up. But I'm not in a fancy type of mood right now, so I'll just take them the easy way. Just want to fill in all the spaces with them. Okay, now I have all my tater tots in there. The whole bag can fit. I have a little bit left, but the kids microwave them or something later for a snack. I'm gonna hit this with a little salt and pepper. Put a little extra seasoning. All right. I'm going to take the rest of my cheddar cheese that I have left over. I'm going to layer it on top. I'm going to try to evenly distribute this all over the casserole so everybody gets some cheese when they get their serving. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in that 350 degree oven uncovered for a half hour to 40 minutes till the cheese is melted and the tater tots are baked. All right, guys, this is done. I wound up letting it go for a full 40 minutes. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Okay, I'm going to finish this up by garnishing it with some chopped green onion. Okay, there you have it. Cheesy meatball tater tot casserole. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.